Futures. I am Stephen Davis, Senior Market Strategist, RJO Futures, here to talk to you about the grain markets this morning. We'll start with the corn market. Uh, today is crop report day, Friday, uh, June 10th, so we'll get a crop report out here at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, I think more important than this re crop report, it is supposed to rain next week. So, you know, this crop report may come through without a whimper here, and then we'll look to the rain forecasting next week, where it rains, how much it rains, and certainly how the market responds to that. Um, so the corn market exports, remember, I keep talking about corn exports every week, and they have been just phenomenal here the last six weeks. Yesterday was a mar the third highest for the marketing year. So corn exports continue to go along, very strong price, and perhaps that can continue here. Uh, ethanol prices are going higher with the price of corn. So ethanol exports are at a, a yearly high here. China buying a third of our ethanol export. That makes sense. China's got smog. They need our ethanol to clear up the smog here. So this is impressive to me, these uh, U.S. ethanol exports. This is an industry that did not exist seven years ago. So we need to sell our grain every corner of the world to every country that wants to buy it. That's good business. That's good trade. And so that's good for the U.S. farmer and the U.S. economy. So soybean market. Um, Again, these are this psyche in the soybean market. This report again may come and go. This may continue till the end of June here. June 30th is a very big report, and we'll find out how many acres soybeans bought here on this rally and how many acres were planted in soybeans. So June 30th, a very big report. But let's back up a little bit here in the winter time. Everybody was short soybeans and, and the funds were short and then they started buying. And that's been the phenomenon here. The buying is supported by more buying. I get up early, early in my suburban home here, 20 miles southeast of Chicago, and soybeans many mornings are down eight, down 10. And then at the end of the day, they're higher. And that's what bull market markets do. They're lower in the morning and they're higher in the afternoon. So keep an eye on that. We'll keep talking about it. Soybean meal is the key here. Uh, it's in backwardation and it's, it's interesting. There's not a shortage of soybean meal in the world today. So uh, we continue to trend higher and keep an eye on that. So wrapping this up, looking forward, we'll get this crop report out of the way. For all intents and purposes, the corn and soybeans are planted and uh, rain event next week is going to be big. It's crucial. And uh, again, the psyche of higher soybean prices, higher corn prices, it may be around till the end of the month. And I don't want to come across as an economist and say, on the other hand, but this is the time of year where we put in highs in soybeans and corn. The CME has raised margins on spreads. They've raised margins on soybeans and corn. And the, the, many times that's a telltale sign. I can remember silver year years ago, ripping higher in the global, uh, the uh, um, silver market, raised the margins on silver. And that was the top in the silver market, and we sold off. So we'll keep talking about a lot of these events, and everybody have an excellent weekend. Thank you. And options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.